So next thing we're going to look at is triple integrals and cylindrical coordinates. And um, the cylindrical coordinates are basically uh, where we change only the x and y coordinates and leave z as it is. Uh, z remains unchanged. And, and you can clearly see why that is um, cylindrical coordinates over here. I'll try to draw this uh, rather quick. Well, here you'll see the x, y, along the x, y, what you have, in fact, is a circle. And that's the r cos theta and sine theta. But along the z-axis, you have, in fact, open uh, because z is allowed to vary. So, so basically what you're talking about is a cylinder. So this is why these are called cylindrical coordinates, because z it can be basically anything. It's left to be free. We don't actually change it, in fact. So that, that's why they're called cylindrical coordinates, because we're only looking at this particular circle or these circles that are essentially uh, in the polar coordinates in terms of x and uh, y only. So effectively, uh, let's look at uh, some examples. One of the advantages that this is the same as polar coordinates, so I don't have to tell you that x squared plus y squared becomes r squared, in fact, uh, under, these transform under this transformation. Okay, uh, now let's look at an example. The other thing you need to also note is that when we talk about cylindrical coordinates, which not a lot of textbooks seem to touch on, is that um, um, this x equals r cos theta and y equals r sine theta, it doesn't have to be just x and y. One can go with x equals r cos theta and z equals r sine theta, in fact. And that will give you a, a cylinder that's a, a different cylinder. It would be oriented along the, the y-axis, which is left to be free. So your circle is basically in the xz, and you have a cylinder basically like this. So, so that's, um, uh, that works as well. As you can see, or it can even be y equals r cos theta and z equals r sine theta. Now, this is not very commonly used, but it can be, and it would help us a lot in the example that you might have seen in the previous video on triple integrals, uh, which I'll show um, uh, a little later on. So here's an example <clears throat> where we want to calculate this integral, uh, x squared plus y squared dv over the region E, where E is within the cylinder x squared plus y squared equals 1, below the plane z equals 4, and above z equals 1 minus x squared minus y squared. So we're going to go with um, the polar coordinates in this case, because the cylinder itself, x squared plus y squared equals 1, means that your radius, very quickly, is between 0 and 1. Um, uh, so that's the first thing. Uh, the angle theta, which is of course going to be the angle is between 0 and 2 pi, that covers the full circle, and what that leaves now is our range of values for z. So um, let's uh, look at those. What, what, what's happening is our um, uh, z values are uh, essentially going from uh, uh, above uh, on the, we have on the top we have z equals 4, and at the bottom we have uh, this paraboloid 1 minus x squared minus y squared. So this will become z into 1 minus r squared, in fact. And the other one is z equals 4. And clearly, z equals 4 is above, bounding it above. So therefore, you have um, your z range goes from 1 minus r squared to 4. OK, so now we're, uh, the, the only last thing remaining is to change the x squared plus y squared here, OK, using x equals r cos theta and y equals r sine theta. Okay, in case you're wondering, this is how, this is what I, you can do here as well, and that's how you get the z equals 1 minus r squared to 4. So our integral becomes, um, we'll put the angle as usual outside, then we'll put the radius 0 to 1, and over here, and this will become just r, because uh, essentially you're looking at x squared plus y squared under the root, which is, which is just r squared under the root, which is r, okay? when you put this in here, okay? So now, so that's r, and then of course we have the usual r from r dr, but we are doing z first, so we'll put d z dr, and then d theta, okay? So as we move then to actually evaluate the integral, we end up with integral becomes this, all right? And then um, this, it, it, these are very easy integrals to compute, which ends up giving us so we end up with this, just 0 to 2 pi, 6 over 5 d theta, which then just ends up becoming 12 pi over 5. So that's an example of how we use polar, cylindrical polar coordinates um, to solve triple integral.
So now let's go back to this example we did in the previous triple integrals case, and I mentioned that this is the one we got stuck on. And um, here we'll use polar coordinates, and I'll show you how we can use um, simply a varied version of them, which is using these polar coordinates, and we leave y as it is. We don't touch y. So what will happen in this case is um, you're uh, basically when y is equal to four, when we substitute y equal to four into this, um, we end up with x squared plus z squared equals 4. So that's essentially our cylinder, which means our radius is between 0 and 2, and theta is between 0 and 2 pi. Now, all that remains is to see what our, uh, we'll be doing y first this time. So that is what's important is to see uh, what happens to this. Um, y is equal to x squared plus z squared, and that will become, under this transformation, y is going to be r squared. And since this is the beginning, and it goes up to y equals 4, so our integral becomes from r squared to 4, from 0 to 2, and from 0 to 2 pi. And then what we're doing is, of course, we're integrating this x squared plus z squared, and that's going to be r squared. And then we'll have the r dr, and we're doing y first, and then dr, and then d theta. Now, <clears throat> and that'll just become r squared, but when we integrate that, we'll end up with 0 to 2 pi. 0 to 2, that'll just become, that'll become r, so it's r squared. Now, r squared times y is going to give us 4 minus r squared in the end into uh, just r squared. And then we have dr d theta. Okay, and that uh, then will become uh, just 0 to 2 pi, okay, equal to 64 or 15 d theta, which then is just equal to 128 pi over 15, which is the